I think when it comes to food distribution, there are about uh, three lines of food distribution. Government of Ghana itself is doing uh, food distribution through the uh, assemblies with the support of the military for social protection. And then you have the support that government of Ghana has given to the faith-based organizations that are also doing some distribution. And then you have what the private people are doing. Mm -hmm. Across all of these, these three channels, earlier this week, the challenge that we all observed and validated was a challenge of the lack of observation of social distancing. And it's worrying. I think one of the ladies who asked the question is that, are you not worried that by the time they are done, people have, what, what have you been exposed? That is the challenge that we have all observed on social media, on television, that we are all concerned about. This claim that in the midst of that melee, when people are scrambling here and there, and you can't even bring order, somebody is at the same time is uh, inspecting party cards, sounds odd and weird to the ear. I have asked several people whether anybody has been able to validate not a single person has told me he's been able to validate. Everybody says somebody said. But who said? How can we validate that this is true? I have said that it is important that it is validated. The ministry has said it is not true because in the midst of that challenge, nobody's uh, doing that. The AMA has said it is not true. In the midst of that challenge, nobody's doing that. I have now heard the Honorable Member of Parliament who initially made that allegation saying that she's calling for a probe into it. But I have not actually heard a validation of same, even from her. So um, I think it's something that... Ten of her colleagues have corroborating her story, though. But Ten of her colleagues please. are not corroborating her story. They are repeating her story. Okay. A repetition of her story is not corroboration of it. Mm -hmm. Nobody has been able to validate this, that in the midst of this chaos that we are all concerned about, and the Ministry of Gender, uh, the Ministry of Local Government, has now issued new directives on how they should um, observe social distancing. And we've had to even address it at the national uh, briefings. Somebody is still... What is the person doing? Crawling and lo looking for those cards or what? So that let's let's be factual. It's not been validated. But what is it with um, MPs um, placing stickers on food, for instance? And if you look at the statement from the Ministry of Gender and Social Protection, they also make the point that they have noticed that politicians are also trying to make the best out of the day, going out there to give things, put their photos, stuff like that. Some even put "Vote for me," etc., mm -hmm. um, on it. Some abhor it, some think it's a smart um, um, campaign tactic, etc., etc. But assuming that that is even the concern, we should not equate that concern to an allegation that the state, okay. the military and the AMA and the ministry, as they are distributing, are inspecting particles. That is something we should not mix with um, all of this okay, because nobody forward, has been able to validate going it. Going forward, what are we doing uh, to ensure that the distribution of food would adhere to the social distance? So you notice that some guidelines have been issued by the ministries of social protection and local government to ensure that it is done. They've also put in place a monitoring system okay. uh, to monitor and be sure that it is being observed for what the state is doing, for what the faith-based organizations are doing, and for what the private sector uh, is also doing. Is there no way of identifying these people and going to their doorsteps to deliver to them? These are people that okay. don't have doors. Okay. That is the first challenge. That is why I separated those who are vulnerable. So they have homes that you can find them in, and then you have those who are homeless. For okay. those who are homeless, the question of going to their doorstep becomes a challenge okay. because they don't even have doors. Okay. So at points where you distribute, what you really have to do is to ensure that you observe it. Let us admit that it is difficult for all of these people who are doing it, the faith-based organizations, the private sector, but we are pushing and insisting that they ensure that um, they do this.